Um, so, Bentinia, when you talk about this bigness and this kind of supermanness that you always were in touch with, like as a child, is that so? Is that something that's like present in in everybody? Mm. So, because I feel like that that was not a common conversation as I was growing up, but now more and more meeting people who are very like feel, who say things like, "I feel so big, like I can hardly contain it. I'm so, so big. I'm gonna." I'm going to burst, I'm going to explode, and it's, and that it's always there, and that, and that actually what's going on is we're all sort of turning the dial right down so that we don't swallow each other up with our bigness and kind of keeping each other squished, like, you know, in a space. Like, what would happen if... Well, so my first question, is that something that is present in everyone? Mm -hmm. And what would happen if we just all turn the dial, dial right up? Nice. Well, yes, absolutely. It's, it's, it's everyone's nature. Um, it might not be relevant for everyone necessarily to fully remember that because, like I said, limitation serves a certain purpose. Depending on what your theme is, what you actually want to get out of this life, you have to put certain limitations on your view. Otherwise, you will not have that particular life. So limitation and illusion and ignorance serves the purpose of the journey being fulfilled in a certain way. However, mechanically or how you would say that structurally speaking everybody is capable of anything it's every limitation is simply um, superimposed by our own consciousness for certain reasons and sometimes assumed by us as a personal receiver of limitation we just start to believe in certain things we don't have to believe in but we assume it anyway because everyone's believing in it now that's the part we can all get rid of or transform the part we can't all transform is it might not be relevant for everyone to just start teleporting and, and flying off of the planet right now. Give it a few years. It might become more common. But as we speak, it's not relevant. But everything is inside of consciousness. Everything is like a dream within consciousness. Everything is quantumly arranged in different configurations. And there is no space. There is no time. There is no gravity. None of these things are actually real. So even from a very realistic point of view, everything is possible. But again, we don't necessarily have control over all that except from our higher consciousness, which is still us, our overarching being, because of the purpose of the journey. But we as a human consciousness, so to speak, we as a person consciousness, not a person consciousness, because we can transcend that and still be here, us as a physically focused consciousness, so to speak, that's here attending to our lives, the I am that we feel we are here, it is up to us to sort of sift through the beliefs that we've adopted as kids and as we're growing up and transform or get rid of as many of these that don't feel good. The ones that are not relevant for us to look at and let go of are the ones we don't even really notice are there. We don't really feel them yet because they're still outside of our view. They're still holding us within that space. But within this space, it's not yet relevant for us to dismantle these things. But whatever feels like it's limiting you right now in your journey and where you want to go, those beliefs are very relevant to look at and let go of and see where you pick them up along the way and that they're not yours to begin with. And then you can have more and more the experience of being Superman or Superwoman and that you really are not limited by anything except your own choice, your own free will. And what was the second question? Well, so it was just really like if we all start turning, mm. which you did like answer really, if we start turning the... If we start turning up our dials all together, things accelerate so quickly that our planet is unrecognizable within 10 years. In other words, when one person turns up the dial, it's all right, and we can see them as inspiring people. You know, we call them uh, Steve Jobs, or we call them whatever. But when everyone starts doing this, it becomes crazy because everything confirms that everything is possible in everyone's reality, and it just completely shifts the collective consciousness's automatic mind agreement, as I call it, which is the people have an unconscious mind, so to speak, not really, but so to speak, and the collective has one too, which sets up all the agreements and rules within that container of limitation, we then explore certain journeys. But so that unconscious mind is like the stage of the theater within which, or, or on top of which, should, uh, whose rules we play the game so based on these rules we have certain conditions that guide the game in certain ways so we can learn certain lessons now the unconscious is what takes care of things like gravity like space time like linearity like how fast time moves all these kinds of experiences are arranged by the collective unconscious so what happens is that if everyone would turn up their dial 
Let's say I turn up my dial as much as I can right now, but none of you do, or nobody else does. I can then only go so high, because otherwise I would literally be breaking through the barriers of this collective agreement, and I would either literally, that's what sometimes they call ascended masters, when people disappear and go up to heaven, it's literally that you become of such a different frequency that you're no longer belonging to the civilization or consciousness that you are part of, so you're shifting into an alternate reality altogether, where you do belong, where you do fit in at that point. But so, if I were to turn up my dial at maximum and I would be stretching and pushing against the boundaries, which is sort of what happened for me about six months ago when I said I can't go on in this way anymore, like if something has to change, either this world has to come a little bit my way or I'm going to disappear. Um, but if, if everyone was suddenly to turn up their dials, then I can also turn up my dial that much more because now it's allowed without popping out. Mm -hmm. So now, if everyone keeps doing that, there is an exponential increase in what becomes possible and what people believe to be possible. And you would literally start seeing very weird things happen, physically weird things. <laughs> so, yeah, a lot of funky stuff would happen. But also, like, I mean, it would be amazing. Yeah. But the collective has to be ready for that and you know that has its own timing and cannot be forced so would you say that like um the beginning of that is in in this conversation and just like you know having you know like a readying readying the way it's just first, in the conversation yeah first having the conversation that it's even a possibility to yeah. expand to that extent and then it's like oh is that possible mm, i'm not sure but it plants a seed yeah. And then it starts proving itself and proving itself. And the more it proves itself, the more the conviction changes and the more the agreements in the unconscious of the collective changes. And when that changes, the whole platform changes and things that are really hard to achieve right now or near impossible or even not allowed within this reality will suddenly become like everyday knowledge. Like we actually would be like jumping around. Mm. Like we wouldn't need airplanes to get anywhere. It would be more like a dream. Thank you. Yeah.